Hello everybody, welcome to Talk About Houses. I'm Todd. I'm Juana. So today we are gonna do a market update for Las Vegas real estate market for July of 2021. Yes. Uh, it's July 1st. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into condos. So Juana, let's go over some of the condo uh, in, uh, numbers. So the median list price is 239,000 and that's for a condo, not a single family house. Uh, you may not think that that's uh, such a big deal, but for Las Vegas, this is a really big deal. That was Our, like sixty or seventy thousand, maybe in two thousand nine. Right. Like twelve years ago, it was a quarter of that, probably. Right. Okay. Uh, the median uh, price for new condo listings is basically two hundred thirty thousand dollars, which is again a lot for a condo. That's two hundred eight dollars a square foot. Now, this is Vegas, people. $208 a square foot for a condo is a lot of money. So keep that in mind. The average days on the market is 88 days. So uh, condos are on the market the way they are in, in I think, a lot of um, suburban markets. They're on the market longer than single family homes, which is, is normal. Yeah, so I think one of the th interesting things on here that I, I see is the median rent of $1,350. Mm -hmm. $1,350 for a condo is a ton. Um, back in the day, it was probably seven or eight hundred for a condo. Well, just to give it a little bit more perspective, um, two years ago, you could rent a fifteen hundred square foot house for about fifteen hundred dollars. So that kind of gives you a little bit of perspective how much prices have changed. And you can also see that there's this little needle that says seller's market, and we we're going to get to the one for single family. Remember, this is just for condos. And you can see that it's still a pretty hot market. It's not a smoking hot market, um, but it's a pretty good market for, uh, for condos. Uh, stronger than traditionally, but that 1350, I think the big thing is a lot of those people are looking at their, what they're paying in rent and saying, maybe we should buy. And some of the rents going up is feeding home price increases and then the home price increases feed rent increases so we're kind of in that cycle mm -hmm. because when the market crashed rents didn't collapse they dropped mm -hmm. a little but the you know rents dropped 10 15 percent but the market dropped half right? right so the other thing to kind of keep in mind is like todd said um the fact that rents are high is feeding the market for buyers uh and this is something that we kind of sort of talked about in another video when we were talking about what's going on with uh with with rentals so because rentals, it's taking more money to get into a rental because um, landlords due to everything, everything that's been going on, want you know higher deposits, first and last month's rent and all this sort of thing. I think people are looking at it and saying, look, um, I can get into a, in, into a house to rent for maybe eight, $9,000 or for just a little bit more, I can actually buy a house. Yeah, so let's, since we we're talking about buying houses, mm -hmm. let's go into, uh, housing, actual single family homes. Now you'll see the little needle, seller's market. Um, last month it was a pretty strong seller's market. Today it's a really strong seller's market. Mm -hmm. uh, when we look at the median, median list price, we're at f half a million. Right. List, there's the list price, um, and that's the median. So, and, and keep in mind that the strategy a lot of people still use is to list high and then have price reductions. So, um, but, uh, you know, f half a million for a median list price is quite a bit. Like for this is Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Like you would have seen this four or five years ago in San Diego, but not in Las Vegas. Right. You know, look, uh, traditionally our wages have not been able to support this price point for a median list price. I, I think one of the other things that, and I'm, I'm going to have a, we're going to show some charts that show the whole year and the trend of all these numbers, but median days on the market, look at that. It, it's 14 mm -hmm. like and that's a median now keep in mind that half or below that so that means half of the houses that sold you know and we see this in the MLS you know three two five just mm -hmm. these super like that's basically enough time to have it list in the MLS get a couple showings and then spend three days negotiating counters and get like it's literally if you don't have your offer in within 24 hours chances are you're not gonna get you're probably not in there because it, you missed out right right uh, and um, the total inventory of 1752 that's almost the exact number uh, in 2005 mm -hmm. when the market peaked we had a 1700 listings in the single family homes in the mls right but the difference is our population was less then so there were less houses less people here so when you're 
um, adjusting for that, this inventory level is really way below 2005. 300,000 people more now right. than we had 16 years ago. And, uh, and then that last number, that, or the next to the last number, market rent or median rent, 19, that's two grand. Right. 2,000 bucks is unheard of uh, in Vegas. Right. And again, you know, the price per square foot, $225 a square foot. This is for, you know, single family home, nothing exciting. Um, so this is something to really look for when you're looking at these homes. What is that dollar per square foot? Now because this, it's really grown. Okay, yeah, it has grown. Now this next chart we're gonna do is the median list price. Now, now this list price is over the last three years. What, what I wanna focus on is the last, the third of that to the right. You can see where there's a little dot there and that's July of, of uh, 2020, so last year. But you can see how this thing has, like it was climbing, but it's taken off. Now it is a little misleading because the bottom of this chart is, um, no, the bottom of the chart here is 300,000. Uh, so it's not zero, but you can see it went from 300 up to what it's now saying is over basically 450. Uh, and so that's a ton. Uh, the next chart we're gonna go to is actually kind of fun. So this chart here breaks the market into quarters. So the top quarter and then the second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. So Juan, I want you to talk about the quarters and the medium prices and days on the market and all the spe specifics about those. So when we start out looking at this, we'll start at the bottom because I think uh, as, as we make our way up, the whole thing will just really kind of fall into place. So the median, uh, the median price for the bottom quarter is basically $320,000 for a 1,400 square foot home. Uh, this is in Vegas, people, so I kind of keep saying that. This is not something that, that we've seen for a very long time. Uh, this is your basic three bedroom, one bath, 35 years old. Remember, Vegas is known for having relatively new homes and th a 35 year old home for Vegas is, is pretty old. Yep. Um, and the days on the market is seven. So anything in this bottom quarter is just literally flying off the market, sight unseen. Uh, Anybody in, at this price point, they're just looking to get something. They don't care what they're getting. Duh. They just want something. Duh. I have, I have, I have. So I was going to make a video, and I was going to take like the cheapest house in Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and found all like the cheapest houses I could find, and I called the agents and said, "Hey, look, this is me. I'm a video blog guy in Vegas. I just want to come shoot a video and talk about this cheap house." And the answer I would always get is, "Well, you can't really go see it right now because." You know, I've got 23 offers, they're all cash, they're all over the amount, and I just don't want anyone to go there, there anymore. And I'm like, <laughs> like I, this thing is a dump. And I'll I look at the pictures in the MLS, the thing is a total dump. They go, no, like it's flying, it's like sold. Um, so then, okay, and that number, that 320, mm -hmm. that was actually like the median price that's the highest the market reached in 2005, six before mm -hmm. it tanked. Right. And then that's the median of the bottom quarter. And then, right. then let's go, so let's go up to the next quarter. So the next quarter is uh, 425,000 for a 2,000 square foot house. Uh, now we're getting into three bedroom, two bath, about 20 years old. And again, it's flying off the market in seven days. Same kind of story. Uh, these are you know usually uh, starter homes. They're somebody's first home. And again, they're in the same boat. They're, they're just trying to get a home. It's not uncommon to go to these homes uh, when they come on the market and literally have a line outside the house, uh, people waiting in line to go see the house. I, I've been to these houses this way. Um, you know, maybe the line is somewhere around two, three hours long. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. You would think that they were giving the house away. Uh, the next quarter is, uh, 600,000. Now we're getting into bigger homes, uh, 2,700 square feet, four bedroom, two bath, age of the home again about 20 years old, days on the market 21. So again, like, like Todd said, that 21 days does not really reflect what's going on because it is taking them a few days to get through the, the offers, the counter offers and that sort of thing, but it still gives you an idea that, uh, that these homes are selling very quickly. Uh, and last but not least, our luxury market. Our luxury market this quarter, the median price is 1.2 million. Uh, they're almost 4,000 square feet. Uh, four bedroom, three bath, 
just a little bit younger uh, at about 19 years and these are taking a little over a month to sell so the average days on the market are 42 days but again this is Las Vegas so the fact that the median home that's 1.2 million uh, is selling in 42 days I think is pretty amazing we've had years where that was certainly not the case the, so to put this in perspective 2009 the top one top 10 percent of homes mm -hmm. the the bottom of that so only 10 percent of homes were above 300,000 sold so think about that you go back to the bottom of the market 12 years ago the bottom that the bottom of the top is 300 grand Look, 1.2 million, that's 12.5% or over that. So it's four times, the top of the market has moved four times. Now, luxury homes weren't selling. They weren't selling at all. No, There was no one to buy them. Um, and that's pretty amazing. Like, I think that's that's a really strong market. Now, I think that has been pushed up through, the. Well, we have a video about this. It's the out-of-towners that came. Mm -hmm. It's the Californians that have a ton of money. <laughs> they realized they could buy this super luxury house and they came to Vegas. Now, the next chart we're gonna look at is inventory. This is pretty straightforward. I mean, what do you think about, like, at what point does this inventory become a problem with a market crash? Because that's what I hear of say, oh, the market's up, it's gonna crash any day. Is it gonna crash if inventory stays this low? No, of course not. I mean, look, you. this is your classic supply and demand, right? We have virtually no supply and we have demand and the demand is only growing. It's growing for a lot of reasons. Uh, of course, population growth is, is just a natural thing. Uh, people have been sitting on money for over a year. Um, the economy is, is doing pretty good. And so we've got more people chasing homes than we have homes on the market. And then we have... Uh, the whole issue of no um, no new construction for the most part because yeah. of the whole material issue and, and labor and that sort of thing. Hedge funds buying new home subdivisions. Right. And then uh, on the resale end, uh, people are looking and saying, look, if I sold my home, it would cost me more to buy something comparable, so why am I going to sell my home? Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at here is price per square foot. Now, before you get really excited, <laughs> this looks like you know Bitcoin maybe, right? It's taken <laughs> off. But remember, the bottom line on this it starts at $160. $160 per square foot. It's a metric we use that's commonly used in a lot of markets um, to compare different sized homes and their mm -hmm. price. But you can see this thing is just taken off. The uh, home values per square foot is, this is crazy. I mean, that's 220 mm -hmm. median, right. median. That's more than it was in 2005 at the peak right. when they said we were, Right. now there are different other things going on in the market, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, median days on the market, Wanda, look at that. So, the, you know, of course the days on the market is just tumbling because again, but we're going back to no inventory and lots of people chasing homes. Yeah, um, you know, we've been tracking this. I've been tracking it all year. You can go back and you can probably look at my January video or the video I did at the very beginning of the year talking about the, uh, matter of fact, I'll put that video right here. You'll want to watch that one too because I made some predictions and they're coming true because everyone said famous people on YouTube that have millions of followers were talking about a crash and I said it's not going to happen and guess what? The guys with the million followers are all still talking. They're just going to keep talking about the crash. Like three years from now, they'll be talking about how the real estate market's going to crash. But I'm, I called it. It hasn't crashed. And I said it wouldn't crash this year. And it, it's we're halfway through the year because today's is the is the seventh. So let's talk about just some general things about the market. Mm -hmm. um, my feeling mm -hmm. is that it's going to we're going to keep have some appreciation still. Uh, that that the the potentially um, uh, uh, the crisis is going to be averted, though, because of economics, meaning it'll eventually cool and flatten off because some people will give up, don't you think? Well, yes. So some people will give up. Look, right now, um, a third of the dollars out there are brand new dollars that were printed in the last year. So yeah. that is an issue which is kind of fueling some of this, too, because that means people um, are not necessarily... A, averse to paying higher prices for homes right and the other thing is of course people are afraid of inflation so because they're afraid of inflation then then real estate is a good place to park money if you're afraid of inflation uh, because let's face it if you are uh, a tenant your rent will keep going up 
the only way you can take control of your housing cost is to have a mortgage because a fixed rate mortgage that means that your payment will be the same day in day out this year next year the year to come and so on so that's a good way for you to hedge against inflation and so because of that I think we're going to keep having people want to enter the market some people will give up um, some people will, will be priced out yeah uh, but I think for the most part uh, people will keep pursuing this because there's really not a better way to deal with the current situation unless the current situation changes I don't see people uh, by and large changing their minds and staying on the sidelines so long as they can afford it they'll pursue buying a house yeah there are certainly some uh, you know that when rents go up people want to buy mm -hmm. because people get tired of of paying rent mm -hmm. uh, but then you get this phenomena where prices are so high they can't mm -hmm. buy like the Bay Area mm -hmm. most people the average person can't buy a house in San Francisco mm -hmm. the median price is it's ridiculous I think it's 3.4 million or something like that so um, the uh, you can do one of two things you can rent or you can move mm -hmm. and if you you're stuck with a job somewhere you can't really move it, mm -hmm. you you may not have that flexibility but if you can move you probably do mm -hmm. unless you know that's what a lot of people do they move and they move to Vegas <laughs> they move to Vegas um, so what we're gonna do is every month we're gonna do the, the same video we're gonna pull the data uh, this time we pulled the data from a different source we got it from a title company that uses Altos Research or somebody like that, but it all comes basically uh, the rest of the earlier in the year I was pulling from the MLS and I was showing the aggregate numbers, but it's basically showing the same story. So this is, here's the deal, this is what we're going to do. We're not going to worry about the market until we start to see two things happen. Time on the market increase mm -hmm. and the amount of listings increase. And we're not talking about just tick up, we're talking about cross the line where they break through mm -hmm. what a normal healthy market is and they trajectory like they just they're going like that it's, right. it doesn't look like it's going to stop so um, to, to kind of give you perspective uh, for us in Vegas a normal healthy market is somewhere around 3,000 listings and we're at about 1,700 so and that that's really kind of what we're looking for is a healthier market where that there's there's a better balance between buyers and sellers. Yeah, it's probably a lot more than that because I think that's maybe just single families and right. It's 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 a it's a pretty big number. Um, Seventy five hundred was how many we had in two thousand five. That was the normal market. It was the normal market with. Uh, but here's the bottom line: is what you look is number of homes sold and the number of listings, and it's four to six months mm -hmm. of supply. Right. That's normal. Now we have about a month. Mm -hmm. of supply and that's or 20 days I think the number is 20 days right okay and that, that really depends on which price point you're looking at because if you're looking at a lower price point the the, um, the supply is almost non-existent yeah all right so um, if you made it to the end of the video thank you very much please subscribe hit the notification bell if you have questions about the Las Vegas real estate market uh, our contact info is in the comments mm -hmm. and what else um, Leave us notes and we'd love to chat. All right. Uh, see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.